What's up with it? On this Thursday, man. Man, I got a little old short blog coming, man. Just to let y'all know, just 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 an open topic, man. Pretty much about this and that, this and that, this and that. What's up? Thank you for the views. Subscribe to my channel. Donate to my cash app. The cash app is dollar sign cash big monk. Dollar sign cash with a K A S H B I G M O N K. That's dollar sign cash with a K K A S H B I G M O N K. All right, let's get get into this blog, man. You know what, man? Boosie is the only real nigga out there, out there speaking out about a lot, a lot of shit, man. Only nigga out there is speaking out about a lot of stuff, man. And that's messed up. All y'all want to be hard people, stuff that's going on with Lil Nas X, promoting all that pedophilia, talking about he on stage, and uh, trying to donate a charity. The, the, to rap in front of your, your kids butt naked because he won't be rapping in front of my kids. I don't even support the dude no more. He's out of control, man. They got that nigga in position to take control over your kid's mind, man. With that hit song he had, it's a lot of kids following him, man. And he got, and that's what he in position for. Not only him, it's a lot of celebrities. But Boosie, salute to Lil Boosie, man. He the only nigga out there that's shouting against that. Because there, like you say, everybody ain't feeling that shit, man. If you if you that way, do your thing, bro. That's you. That's you, man. Do your thing, but you it, it ain't right for you to put your that kind of behavior on a child, on kids, that mind ain't even fully developed. Making them wonder and they getting curious about certain things about kissing in front of, you got two girls kissing in front of kids and two niggas kissing in front of kids. Man, that shit ain't right. It's, it's more like want to be seen type of shit, man. Y'all do that shit more with the same sex more than people with opposite sex with a, with a woman and a man, man. Everybody ain't feeling that shit, man. And the little shit, then that shit that, that uh, the baby said on stage, them white folks really pulled that nigga whole card, man, made him apologize. But as much money and as much show money this nigga be getting, he ought to be able to tell them nigga to fuck they self. I don't give a damn about your show y'all canceling my show money nigga you should be in position your house and everything should yo yo man you you should have your bag your bag bread should be right nigga the fuck i'm gonna apologize for something that mostly all the past rappers who started this shit saying this certain stuff on stage if you this and this clap your hands if you that and that stomp your feet if you this and that, everybody say, oh, oh, man, but, you, but, man, you know what? I'm going to tell you the reason why they like that, man, because they, 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 they white folks, when they sign to these big labels, they get control. So what, at the end of the day, what the fuck, of, what the fuck of having money when you can't do and spend it on what the fuck you want to spend it on? A lot of these niggas ain't even got no money, man. They spend their money on Jerry and all that old dumb ass shit. Dumb stuff, man. A lot of them ain't even got no money. Because they done wasted on, on Jerry, man. That's all they buy. And these little niggas' minds thinking that's the way it is. Everybody want to be a rapper. Everybody. You even got Asian kids grow up to want to be a rapper. There's so many rappers, bro. And the rap game is so fucking watered down, man. 
it is taking control of these kids' mind. They got all these niggas in there, got guns and shit, promoting violence and shit. And you got a lot of fallen ass kids with with they mind, most of the time they mind ain't even uh, fully developed to really understand. But that at, at the end of the day, they do know right from wrong. A lot of y'all is old. A lot of you kids is old enough to know that this shit ain't right. But it's somehow everybody want to be real. Everybody want to be this and claim colors and just just a bunch of fallen ass niggas, man. You don't have no leaders in this generation, bro. They brainwash, man. And you know what? The white folks ain't gonna say nothing because you know what? A lot of that shit is promoting to kill each other because a lot of these niggas ain't even got no smoke for the white people. They got a, they got a lot of smoke for their own people. That so at the end of the day, that's why they ain't trying to stop the shit. It's very free, positive role model rappers out there. Conscious, uh, and you ain't really got to be such a just a conscious to be a good rapper. You ain't even hardly got no storytelling rappers no more, man. Like Scarface, Willie D, Ghetto Boys, all these type of people like that. Goody Mob. That's what you call real hip hop. This shit is so watered down, man. I don't even listen to this new shit, man. I only they mumble. The only thing that really sounds good is the beat and sometimes the chorus. The chorus is kind of catchy, but a lot of that shit is watered down, my nigga. And the baby, they just pull that nigga whole cord, man. I, I, that nigga always talking about how bad he is and all this old bullshit. They pull that nigga whole cord, man. Had that nigga apologizing. The fuck you gonna apologize for something that you ain't even ain't even did nothing wrong, man. Stand on what you believe. You supposed to be a gangster ass nigga. You supposed to be a gangster ass nigga, man. You been knocking motherfuckers out, talking plenty of shit, but all of a sudden you do something that you really didn't even do nothing, but they got you apologizing for nothing. So make that make sense. The shit that he been doing has always been in the in the hip hop culture. Way back in the gap when NWA and Ghetto Boys, when all these people was on stage, man. They promoting fucked up shit. So I run, I'm going to tell y'all a little story that what had happened to me today, man. I was dropping my mother-in-law off, man. And uh, she lived in these apartments, and I parked on the side with a fire line at. So the white, the white uh, uh, ambulance man was just waiting. He was telling me, you can't park there, you can't park. So I went left on his ass. Okay, I'm saying this. I said that to say this. Okay, when y'all at Walmart and Super One, you telling me you I can't park by the fire line, but when y'all at Walmart parking at the fire uh, uh, by the fire line, y'all going there and buying groceries and all this bullshit that y'all buy, y'all park right up there. Y'all don't be it don't be no emergency call. Y'all just go in there and get get y'all stuff, lunch stuff or whatever the shit you be getting. It's all right, for, like I said, it's all right for them to do it, but it's wrong when I do shit. It's just like the police, man, you see them busting U-turns, ain't signaling, doing all kind of shit, breaking the law. Don't even be out to nobody, man. Just be busting U-turns in the middle of the road. And you supposed to be setting an example for the citizens to encourage them and you can get him a ticket for breaking the law. And yeah, yeah, that's a real good example for yeah, man, running red light, putting your lights on. Some of them don't even put their lights on. They just run right through the red light. It ain't a damn thing the citizen can do. But if I do it, there you is with the with the with the red and blue lights on. Woo! Pulling me over. The reason why I stopped you because you uh ran that red light. 
but you run red lights, don't make complete stop at stop signs, busting U-turns in the middle of the road, don't nothing get done about it. They can break the law, but we can't. We can't. Just because you in a police car. I see some of these niggas' windows be tinted 5% tint all the way around, man. Never get stopped. It be cops. But if I put that real dog tint on my window, there you is. You right behind me. The reason I pull you over because you know your windows is too dark. But see, that's what I'm saying. They can get away with shit. Ain't nothing going to change, man, until we stand up and do something about this and come together. But we can't come together, man, because we got too, sell too many sellouts, for one. Crab in the bucket ass niggas. That's why we ain't going to never be able to come together on nothing, man. I'm just making this quick blog, man. I'm trying to cook dinner for my family, man, and make this blog at the same time, man. Some of y'all niggas need to learn how to do it. Some of y'all don't even know how to cook, don't know how to do nothing. But a hole a gun, that's what you know how to do. All the wrong negative ass shit. Some of these niggas don't even know how to check their oil in their car. They got some of these females got got dudes and can't even don't even know what a dipstick is. You ask them, man, check the oil. They don't even know what a motherfucking dip. What they don't even know what a dipstick. What is that? That's what they are talking about. They don't even know how to change change oil, but they know how to do, throw them gang signs up though. They know how to sag their pants. They know how to do all the wrong shit, but when it's time to do manly shit, they can't even do it. They can talk a gang of shit. That's just like a nigga talking a gang of shit, then when he get gangster, you run. Make that make sense. This generation, man, and it ain't just only young people, man. It's, it's some fucked up elders out there, too, like I said, man. Y'all don't want to believe, y'all y'all will get mad at me saying this shit, but it's the truth. A lot of the elders don't even have no respect, man. No, no more. I have never saw such old folks and young folks with the mindset that they in, bro. These young people don't even want you telling them what to. They don't even want you to tell them what to do no more. They they don't even want help. They don't want to listen to something that can benefit them in the future. They can, they'll rather listen to a motherfucker to, to, to put them in a jailhouse in the future than to show them how to get some money. They don't listen to positive shit, man. Negative shit. How to gang bang and, 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 and wear your pants sagging down and shit. That's the kind of shit that goes on in this world now. You try to talk to the youth, they don't want to listen to you, they get mad at you. But you know what, there's some out there listening, listening to you. You can have a hundred kids, girls and boys, mixed up in the crowd. You might not be able to save all of them, but somebody will listen. It might not be with two or three people out of a hundred to listen, but somebody will listen. Not all of them bad, but it's so many bad ones that don't want to listen. You try to voice your opinion, they get mad at you. They don't want no help. They get they get in they get in their feelings, man. And you trying to help them and show them, you know what I'm saying? But they want to get mad at you for trying to show them and how to do certain stuff. So that's the reason why I say our kids need it, man. I don't even know what to say about these the youngsters nowadays, man. Cause they don't a lot of them don't listen to no positive stuff, man. They listen to negative shit. A child can't even be himself no more, man. That's how corrupted the world is, man. The world is full of hate. 
evil. The devil is busy, man. He all in the church house. You hear all these this shit going in the church house, and you see it. He working through the pastors. He working to normal people. Everybody trying to get that bag by any means, man. Even the pastor try to get the bag. And try to get with your old lady too, man. And somebody else's old lady. So, where are all the good role models at, man? Where are all the good role models? But if, if, it, if it is some good role models, like I said, most of the youth, they don't want to they don't want to look at if you ain't a certain way and sagging your pants and talking all reckless and that gangster type nigga who just thugged out, that's who they, that's who most of the youth follow behind. Wanna fit in. Need to get in where they fit in it. They want to fit in and want to be all that gangster shit until they get in trouble. Can't tell them shit. But when they call it from jail, they'll listen to you. But when you when you be out here trying to tell them shit, they don't listen to you. You can't tell them shit then, but when the white folk got them, they'll listen to you then. Man, I just wanted to do this quick blog just to tell y'all just what was on my mind or whatever, man. It's just a quick blog, man. I got some stuff coming, rolling out, man. Appreciate for my views. Appreciate y'all for viewing my channel. Subscribe, share, come like, comment, hit them likes button, man. We got to get this stuff out here, man. This stuff is getting getting crazy, man. I got something coming for for that COVID nineteen, man. That this shit, this shit is finna get bad, man. Y'all need to wear y'all masks, cause this bitch ass uh, mayor of Texas. I ain't gonna put no bill in for for mass mandatories. They evil, man. It's a population control, man. They trying to get us by any means. Y'all niggas better wake up and realize this shit, man. Why y'all running around here and bullshitting and all on social media making all these these, these bitches I be seeing with filters on and and all this kiki and ha ha and then shit. Don't know what's finna happen, man. This shit is finna get serious. And some of y'all just still out there sleep. And some of some of you ain't gonna even be able to wake up. I ain't never saw a set of folks who get up every day to try to fuck up the world. All these crooked ass white folks. Then you got some niggas that's in in on it. Because you know what? They use that money. That's that hush money. That motherfucker nigga do anything for that bag. Sell out ass niggas, man. Bad enough we got to deal with the damn white folks that done fucked up this world. Ain't got no rights. Black folks ain't got no rights. I just keep screaming that. A lot of folks living in la-la land, man. Don't even know what the fuck going on. They think everything is normal. This shit is so unnormal. It's a shame. But man, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna hit you with another blog to my man. It just was a quick vlog. I gotta get start cooking, and fixing my kids, something to eat, man, and my wife and stuff. Everybody getting hungry, man. I right, get with y'all later, niggas later. Appreciate for the views, man. Subscribe, share this channel, man. Like, hit them like buttons. All right, out of here.